I'm glad it's Friday. Finally Friday. Y'all had a rough week? It's been interesting. Our oldest, she started a uh, band camp Sunday, so yeah. it's getting back into a routine. So <laughs> it ended yesterday, so today is our first normal actually getting up and yeah. Good job to get her there real early. Yes, because you know we live in town right next yeah. to the college, so it's like no sense in her dorming. Mm. And plus, we get up early anyway, so drive her all the way across town, get stuck in that traffic, and then come back and yes. go to work. <laughs> Start all over. Well, y'all got purple up here this week. We do. We actually have our new colored impact, so it's purple, of course. Yeah. It's nice. It's it's not that purple that's. You know, it's really dark. Mm -hmm. You can't really tell, especially when it gets dirty, but that purple's nice. And it matches really good with our ratchets. Yep. I'm gonna put it up here and where everybody can see it. Yeah, it looks good. Wow, <laughs> for a company that didn't want to do colors, they're doing the colors now. We got colors. So, <laughs> as you tell, we have our purple and our blue one is hanging around here somewhere. So, Somebody sticking back right there. So yep. blue and purple. Well, they look good. And the good thing is like, you have the whole line of ratchets and stuff to go with it. Mm -hmm. So if you want to do all blue in one toolbox and all, you know, purple or orange or whatever in the other ones, you yeah. have that option. I know uh, Michael, he actually sold to a guy yesterday. He has a race trailer. He wants everything blue. That way, he knows exactly. Yes, he is. Yeah. Yeah. He don't want his employees going out to his race trailer getting his tools. You know. Yeah. So. That's smart. It is. I know a lot of guys in shops started doing that. You know, because it used to just be red and black. That's it. You couldn't get yeah. anything but red and black. And then they'd, you know, buy different colors where they'd know that that was their tool. You know. Well, we have them like that, so they'll get on here and they'll be like, hey, uh, what color do you have? Like, the pry bars are, yep. are a good example. And somebody said, well, I have orange. Okay, well, I want any color over here but orange. Right. So, and then if you have more than that, you have the ones that have, like, multiple people have, like, orange or blue. Purple come out. They said, I'm just going, all my stuff's going to be purple. Mm -hmm. So we're like, okay, we're okay with that. Well, this is a cool little set right here. I bought this set when it come out in orange. And, uh... Yes, now that's something that's that we cool got from the set. meeting. Um, it is available in orange also. I think we have one sitting right there. Yep, that's so, the one that I got, yeah. And then there's your part number, of course. The O on the end, you turn it to a G, and then there's okay. your green. So. Well, that's a cool little set. Yeah, a lot of people like them because of the sockets. Mm -hmm. So, and the foam tray that they come in. So you just keep it all together. Y'all ain't got some new stuff here. Don't you have a spark plug set or has that been out? I believe we've had it. Now, I'm not 100% positive it's come in the case like the little foam pack before. Mm -hmm. And then you have the light. Now, the light's pretty neat that you're sitting right there beside. Yeah. You can actually take it and twist the front of it and it'll actually narrow focus the light it. in. Yeah. yeah. Focus it in. So, That's and cool. it's magnetic. Everybody likes a magnetic light. So. And it's bright. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a neat little light. Looks like it's a power bank, too. It is. Cool beans. It is. And then I also believe it has a hook of some sort on it, so you can actually hook it on. If I'm not mistaken, it might be that one. Might be getting it mixed up with something else. Oh, no, right there. Oh, yeah. And it has magnets here also. Cool. So you can kind of adjust it to where you need. That's okay. neat. All kind of new stuff this week. We tried. We stopped back up on our screwdrivers because apparently everybody needed screwdrivers the past few weeks. So we made sure to get every one of those. Well, did y'all get a trade in? We did. Uh, the guy, he wanted, um, if I'm not mistaken, he worked in a shop for a while. He's one of the first ones that Michael ever sold to. And he actually moved into the office. So he's like, well, I'm not using it no more. And of course, none of the guys over there wanted to give him what he wanted for it. So sure. it's perfectly good condition. We've already actually got it sold. There you go. So. Look at you, hustling gal. 
Oh, it wasn't me. I was, I was all Michael. All Michael? Yep. I'm That's a toolbox selling machine, ain't he? He is. Yeah. Which it helps that he has that background, you know, so he knows well, exactly what they need. Well, what kind of cool Milwaukee stuff y'all got? You got anything new from them? Um, I'm trying to think. We're supposed to be having something come in. Mm, I'm trying to think what now we have. I think we have the, the hex driver that's coming in, which I think it's been out for a while, but I don't know what it is. Everybody's wanting it right now. So we have actually two of those. We have one that came in and it's actually been bought today. And then the other one is a Monday shop. But I know people get these confused. So you have your tire buffer mm -hmm. and then you have your die grinder. Is that right. that's right? I, the only reason I know the difference in them is because I'm not, I took them well, out of the one's box got a big it. hole. One's and got a little bee hole. Exactly. It shouldn't be that hard to. <laughs> but they don't understand like the difference, like what they're oh, going to yeah. do. And they're like, oh, well, that one right there is, you know, it's, is that not supposed to be angled beside it? I'm like, no. I said, that's, that's something completely separate. But, you know, you have. That's pretty cool that they got a wireless tire buffer. I know the yes. one I got is air powered. That would be nice to have. Yeah, we have a lot of people asking for a air hammer. <laughs> they ask if Milwaukee makes an air hammer yet, electric. Yeah. Not yet. But I'm I have sure it's a, coming. It might have a big old battery on it, mm -hmm. but it's in a strap to hang on to it like it does. I think their one inch impact has the, yeah. the strap to hold on. And I'm then the sure handle. it's coming. I got, I mean, when they come out with a battery powered air compressor, you know an air hammer's got to be not far behind. I'm telling so. you, that thing right there, I can. For me to be able to just lift it up and mm. go wherever, or Michael, he needs it somewhere, so we'll have our little boy run grab it. Well, I had that little, you know, the 12 volt inflator that I bought. I bought it from Joe a long mm. time ago when they first come out. And then I bought that 18 volt from you guys. Yeah. Man, that 18 volt is nice. Oh, it's it is. way better. Like the other one, I put it in my wife's car and that way she's ever out somewhere she can, you know, mm -hmm. like, but to air up my truck tire, it took a long time or a trailer tire, but that 18 volt, it's, it's smoking that. that thing's worth his money. It is. I'll be honest with you. So whenever we first got it, Michael used it. He's fine. Like he knows how to work tools like right off the bat. Me, I'm on the other hand, like looking at the instruction manual or something other. Well, we opened our pool and we got pool floats. You don't ever think about how oh, yeah. convenient it is. So I took it. Stick a little yes. nozzle in there and go. And then yeah. I didn't even do the presets. I was in there having to hold the button. He said, don't do that. He said, just preset it to a number and then hold it when it's where you want it. Just let it you know, off. Let yeah. it off. I mean, it mm. was, it was nice. 20 minutes. I never we thought about doing months. stuff like that, you know, iron it up, but that would be a lot easier than trying to blow them. It is. Because <laughs> <Yes. laughs> the kids want like half a dozen floats. And they oh want yeah. The Cause they got those like the big unicorn. Y'all probably got the same unicorn we got. I had unicorn Walmart, the and great. the whale and the shark and yeah. the whole nine yards. Yes. Yeah. Got the whole zoo out Like there. I thought I was going to pass out and got high by the time I got that thing. <laughs> yes. you know, I was spinning. So. so convenient. I mean, yeah. if you're. I'd have thought of that. So you're smarter than I am. I would have. I sit there and huffed and puffed mm -hmm. like, you well, know, the three little the pigs button. trying to get it out. <laughs> I sit there, I press the button and he, like, he was sitting there. He's like, what are you doing? I said, well. And he's like, well, just preset. So you preset it. I think I set it to like the first one, which may be five yeah. or 10 or something like that. Hooked it up. It never touched it. Never got above mm. zero because you know, it, right. I never let it get to that point and blew them up. Kids ready to go. Cause yeah. you know, when they want to swim and they want their float, they want it right then, right now. Well, so. I know exactly. Of course we don't have a pool at home. You know, we go to the country club and let her swim, mm -hmm. but that's, we deflated it, you know. So now I know how to air it up the easy way. I never thought about using mm -hmm. the tire inflator yeah, for see that. See, now so. all these distributors out there with the Milwaukee M18 tire inflator are gonna sell out because they're, these wives want <laughs> their flow. Yeah, especially after the dad sat over there and huffed and puffed and. Yes, or you have to wait in line at the terrible. gas station. I know you've seen people do that, wait in uh, line up there at the gas station with the air thing. Puff, and, I never, yes. no. Ever go to Bay Springs or a beach or whatever, there's, we have, we used to have a little gas station. It's called Crows. I don't know what it's called now. Um, it's, People blowing up floats. Yes, there. they were a line of them out there by the air thing. Just that's yep. crazy. Hey, fastest way to do it, and you yeah. don't got to sit down there on the beach and blow them up. <laughs> and I know a lot of people are going on vacation, 
they're compact. I mean, you've seen yeah. them. They're like oh, yeah, little, little bitty video thing. things. Stick them. We stick ours underneath our seat. I think that 12 volt would do a great job on those. Yeah, because they don't have to have that much pressure. Mm -hmm. So, oh, Well, cool deal. All right, guys. Well, it is Friday, finally. So I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Check over for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes is in the description. We got some brand new stuff in there, so be sure to check it out. If you're not subscribed, you take your phalange, and you click that little button, and you're in. It don't cost you a dime. Y'all have a great weekend. See ya.